Hi there, it's Jonathan Parker from Park Ham Spoke Sales. Um, I'm here today to show you something a little bit different. Uh, we're actually here on our pontoon in the middle of the River Hamble. Um, it's positioned right opposite the Harbour Masters and right over into the distance you can see the Isle of Wight. So we're just in the entrance of the Hamble. So if you do happen to pass us, um, then certainly wave at us and say hello. Um, the pontoon is great because we keep our boats on here that we have for sale. Um, we've currently just got this Targa 34 that's come on. Um, and our Cobra demo river at the end. But we're not talking about boats today um, because what I want to talk to you about is um, generators and 240 power because one thing we don't have on this pontoon is mains power. Um, so unlike the Princess 54 that we have for sale, um, this has a generator. But my very own boat I also keep on here and it's a Fairline Phantom 42. It's a 1998 boat, but it's never had a generator fitted. So now and again, I will struggle for power. Um, but um, Sam Boyer from Randec UK Limited has very kindly lent me a Clayton power unit, which is basically a lithium power pack, as you can see down there. Um, what it is, it can power three kilowatt and peak at five kilowatt. Um, so what that means then, so this acts like a generator um, because I can boil kettles, I can use my induction hob, um, I don't have air conditioning, so I don't need the extra power that an air conditioning units work. So for me, this will work very well. There's different ways you can plumb it in, but at the moment, I've just got it plumbed in on a three pin plug on the front with an adapter, and it actually goes into the back of my boat just like I would normally do um, with a shore power lead. Um, but can be hardwired into your 240 system um, via our cable on the back. Um, but this is different from a lot of units because it also, if I show you on the back, there is a DC in and DC out, and that is 12 volts. So not only can your engines charge it as you're going along, um, you can also have direct 12 volt output as well. Um, there is an additional plug just here, but you can see 230 out, so that's what you can use to hardwire. The cable that's in there at the moment is so I can charge the unit when I take it off, so again, a three pin plug that I can just plug into mains to charge it up. Um, it also has on the C2 position there, we can put a solar panel um, into there. And there's also a remote option as well, so I don't have to turn it on and off down here. Um, but at the moment, I've got it plumbed into 240 and it's actually operating my ProMariner battery charger. Um, my batteries are getting quite low, so when I first turned this on, it was reading about 50 amps. Um, it's now down to 21. And um, the unit itself has been running for about 45 minutes now. It's down to 71% because of the initial draw from the batteries. Um, but that should um, start to um, um, use less and less power as the batteries charge up. At the moment, it's saying I've got two hours, 30 minutes um, operating 22 amps, um, which is pretty good. But as the batteries charge, that will drop right off. Um, I am running my fridges at the moment as well. And I thought I'd get them nice and cool because it's lovely weather here. Um, at the moment um, and as if I come into the boat you can actually see it powering up my panel so I've got the 240 on at the moment and obviously I've got the uh, the DC on as well so I'm charging voltage and there's obviously DC amps um, and it works um, very well so I'm going to be testing it um, over the next few days I've got lots of people on the pontoon on Saturday um, so we'll certainly be testing it then. So I'll let you know how I'll get on and I'll report back. Um, but for now, um, I hope that was interesting for you. And as I say again, Randec UK Limited are selling these units. Um, at the moment, this unit's retailing about £3,200 plus VAT. Um, but please bear in mind the alternative for a generator for about £8,000. So if you don't need the benefit, and um, that would be a four kilowatt generator, so similar sort of power. So if you don't need a generator to run air conditioning and things like that, you just need it occasionally when you're um, offshore for powering up your hobs, your boiling kettles, and even just recharging your batteries like I'm doing now, then it's a really good alternative. So thank you again, Sam, thank you again, Sam Boyer, for showing, for letting me use this unit. Um, so subscribe to our channel, come and see us at parker-adams.co.uk if you want to see what boats we have to sell at the moment. Uh, but for now, I'm going to sign off, so goodbye for now, and take care. Bye-bye.